Hello, and welcome to another in Learning Trees series on Microsoft Business Intelligence. As you know, real world data can often be very messy. Well, today we're going to take a look at how we can use the R package TidyR to clean up our data and put it in a format that makes it easy to analyze and visualize our data in Power BI. Here we have gross domestic product data obtained from the World Bank. It's in what I call a reporting format, which means we can select a country and easily scan across the worksheet, looking at trends from year to year. However, having a different column for each different year is going to make it hard to analyze this data and visualize this data in Power BI. We also notice that there is an empty column, 2016, contains no data. So these are problems that we need to fix before we can look at this data in Power BI. Now we'll go to the R Studio and create a script to read our data. We can read it from a comma separated value format if we like. Or, if we prefer, the Read Excel package allows us to read it directly from an XLSX file, if that's preferable. Remember that, as always, R is case sensitive. And so if the sheet in the workbook is called Data with a capital D, you have to be sure to type capital D when you're writing your R script. Well, now that we can read the file successfully, let's go ahead and tidy up the file so that we can bring it into Power BI. We'll eliminate the blank 2016 column by selecting columns 1 through 58. Now we'll use the gather function to solve our column and row problem. The gather function will take columns 3 through 58 the column headings, in other words, the years, will go into a new year column. The data for those columns, that will go into a new column called GDP. Unfortunately, TidyR will put an X in front of numeric column names. So we're going to have to simply remove the first character from the year columns so it looks like a pleasing year number. We import the data by choosing our script from the Get Data menu. And we recall that it's always preferable to write a script in the R Studio and then simply source the script from Power BI user interface. Don't try to edit your script here in the R script window. It's a management and maintenance uh, nightmare. So we'll click OK. And then when we preview the data, we'll see that we have gotten the year numbers in columns and each year number is associated with the corresponding gross domestic product. Now once the data loads uh, it will be like any other Power BI workbook and we'll be able to create a plot in order to check to make sure that our import has operated successfully. And we see that the GDP data frame from R has become the GDP table. We'll grab a filter and assign geographical regions to it. And then we'll grab a line plot and we'll allow the line plot to show the GDP over time of whatever country is selected. So GDP will be the uh, variable and we'll drag year to the axis. And there we have it, a line plot that will adjust itself to the selected country. In the example we saw here, uh, TidyR provided a very direct way of taking the reporting format given to us by the World Bank and converting it into an analysis format that can be used by Power BI. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our other videos and visit blog.learningtree.com for some helpful hints and insights.